So for today, we're going to be looking at the Thunderhead pieces, specifically for the Hunter Titan Warlocks. You guys will have your own videos. I already have them done. I just have to do the voiceover, which is what I'm doing for the Hunters. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know which one is your favorite, and let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the helmet. Now, this one is probably my favorite or my second favorite. I don't know. There's another one that I really, really like. But this one is super, super cool because when I first saw the Thunderhead mask, I immediately thought of the cowboy look just because I like the goggles. I think that's super cool. But I also like the fact that like the mouth and the nose is just completely flat. And I just thought, man, that's going to be look really cool with my cowboy set. And my cowboy set is you have probably seen this floating around because people have combined the custom cloaked Stetson with the Starfarer's vest, which is honestly a no brainer considering the Starfarer's vest the like collar thing or yeah like the collar thing looks really good because it, it almost connects with the collar of the cloak which is why a lot of people use it um but i use the vanguard dare grips just because i think that's really good together and the deep pockets ornament for the lucky pants is an easy choice just because it look, looks a lot cleaner so for this one i really like it a lot for the canis coat i decided to go for that one because the unfortunate thing about the vanguard dare grips is the fact that the the shoulder pads have a really bad discoloration and i think canis coat does a, a good enough job to like cover it up but if you do get closer to it you we will actually see there's a lot of discoloration in there so uh any shader that can really like take that off or at least minimize the effect is really good in my opinion the other really cool thing is the fact that uh, there's little subtleties here, like the Vanguard Dare Grips has like a red line on each side. And for the Deep Pockets ornament, you see like this, these red dots on the left side of the hip, which not hip, the uh, thigh. And I think that those two look really cool together. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I really like this set. It's like one of my favorite ones that I've did, made so far, so much so that I actually use this in Iron Banner. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. The next set we're going to be using the arms and I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of this one just because it's okay. Let me be, let me be really honest with you guys. I actually really do like this set. I just think the arms are the only things that don't look good in the set. If I'm being quite honest with you guys, I do think the better arms would have been the, uh, would have been the Meganeer's trick sleeves. I think those would have been a lot better because the Meganeer trick sleeves would have just had all white there instead of like the different whites and reds in there which is not a bad thing mind you it's it's cool it's just the fact that it doesn't go well with this set because the chest piece has like very distinct like red and whites and the same thing with the boots it's like you see a lot of just all of this area is white and all of this area is red and the arms are not like that a lot of it's like there's pieces of red and white everywhere so the mechanist trick sleeves would have just been a, a better choice because the whole arm is basically white and there are pieces of red in there uh the cool thing about this set though is the fact of uh, or the cool thing about this set though is how close the road complex chess piece and the hardened basilisk cloak fit together really well i think it's so weird and it's almost like they were made for each other each other so much so that i will be using this combination in future uh sets because they look really really cool and for the helmet masqueraders cal was what i used but i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think a better choice would have been something that has a cloth in the actual mask uh or in the helmet just so that way you get a little bit more white but i wanted to showcase this because i'm not perfect uh this is kind of like a fail in my part but i do want to at least show you guys like my fails because i'm not perfect and Honestly, I wanted to use the arms over the cloak because I think the cloak is completely bad. Like, it, I think it's the worst one, first piece from the whole set. But that's not saying much considering, like, I think the arms are the next one. And then after that, everything else is a banger. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one. Next up is the new exotic that the hunters got. The I forget what it's called and I'm not going to look it up because it's too long. But yeah, I made the review for this video or I made a review for this exotic. It's right here if you guys want to check it out. But for this one, we're going to be using this exotic for the Arms Dead End Cure 2.1. I used because it was the week that Ada was selling it. For the chest piece, obviously, we're using the Thunderhead. For the boots, Raytech Snow Treads was a choice that I made because obviously I'm going for a snow themed look. And then the Meridian Constellation Cloak, I think, is the better choice for a snowy look. For the shader, we're going with a combination of the Arctic Dreamscape, which is a good snow shader 
and then chit and slate for the helmet so that way i can turn off the glow to be real honest with you guys though i do think it's kind of jarring to see this because it's so bright and then when you see the helmet it's super dark i do get that at that point i, I would probably just put on arctic skate or a dreamscape for the helmet and just call it a day but yeah this one i don't have too much to say about this one uh it's not my favorite definitely i do think it's not the worst one i definitely think the red and white one that you just saw was the worst one but i definitely will not be using this set i have other sets that i've done to be quite honest with you guys i already have a tactical look that i have which is the next one i'll just show you guys right now this is the tactical look that i have in my head for most of it now because i think each piece has a really good reason to be here so for the helmet heart and basilisk mask was an easy choice because i'm going for like <clears throat> like a techno soldier mercenary type thing and i do think the boots which is the thunderhead boots give off that vibe really well because of the knives and whatnot the arms the luck sleeve arms i decided to go with those because it fits the mold of the chest piece and the arms where it's like not everything is armored and that is very much the case for the luxe sleeves it's only just the top spot of the arm that is covered everything on the other side is not which i think is super cool and the veritas vest piece uh it's the same thing not everything is armored and a lot of it is tactical as well for the cloak psionic stalker cloak is an easy choice because again this is like one of my favorite uh, cloaks to combine when i'm going for a tactical look so this one's really cool because we have like what three yeah like three or four tactical exotic helmets at least look wise and this is the set that i'm going to be combining with it i have so many tactical looks now that i i could make a video on its own just for the hunters alone so definitely my favorite i think this would be my favorite just because this one has a lot more utility uh funnily enough and when i mean utility i mean, specifically mean it just has a lot of variety to the point where i could use the veritas chest piece i could use the psionic stalker chest piece i could use the the it has a lot of variety which basically means i could use pretty much a lot of pieces from the psionic stalker set the thunderhead pieces as well are really good for this the veritas pieces i would probably say the chest pieces is the only piece that i could really use the hardened basilisk also has some really good tactical sets there's just so many tactical sets that the hunters have that i could really make a whole video on it on it so let me know what you guys think i really liked a lot of these sets even the bad one even the one the red and white i i still got something good out of it which was the road complex chess piece with the hardened basilisk hood i did not know those two had that really cool interaction which in the future i'll be showcasing like overall even even the failures can can give out really cool results so let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later